Okay, today I'm going to quickly show you how easy it is to adjust your Bremen Burr coffee grinder for both fine and coarse ground coffee. First, we are going to learn how to assemble the grinder from start to finish. Here are all the parts that you will need to assemble your grinder, but let's just start with the hopper. The first piece you will need to attach is the ceramic burr. This is the piece that actually grinds up the coffee. Simply slide the stem of the burr piece up through the bottom. You can either place the divider ring before or after this step, as long as it sits in place over the stem. Next we are going to attach the gear piece, flat side down. This gear is what controls the size of your grind by tightening or loosening the ceramic burr to the hopper. Spin the gear clockwise just enough to fasten it to the threading. We will learn how to properly adjust this later. Next, we are going to attach this bridge piece to lock our gear in place. This piece should fit over the stem and slide in between the teeth of the gear until it fits snug. Finally, we are going to attach the handle. While holding the handle in place over the stem, use the remaining screw to secure it into place. Perfect! Now let's learn how to adjust your grind for a perfect cup of coffee. Start by removing the screw, handle, and bridge pieces and set them aside. To set your grinder up for a fine grind, we are going to start by spinning the gear clockwise until it starts getting tight. Then, spin the gear counterclockwise a couple of times to loosen it slightly, leaving a small gap between the burr and the hopper. Now reassemble the side pieces, add some beans to your hopper, and the result should be something like this. To set your grinder up for a coarse grind, we are now going to spin the gear counterclockwise a couple of more times until the gap between the burr and the hopper is slightly larger. Again, reassemble your pieces, grind up some beans, and the result should end up something like this. You may need to play around with slight adjustments to get the perfect grind for your needs, but once it's set up, you're good to go. Don't forget, if you grind too much, the extra jar provided can store your grinds until next time.